I don't know if I post this video, but if I posted it, <laughs> you see it right now. So you know, I don't know yet. All right. So the world keeps fighting man versus woman, Democrats versus Republicans, feminists versus, well, feminists hate everything. So, um, but <laughs> people keep fighting and people keep wasting their time fighting with other people instead of doing the things they value. If you're one of the people who's doing that, just know that that is a compulsion too. Because you are literally getting triggered and you're trying to make a feeling feel better by fighting other people. Now that's not saying that you shouldn't grow with the things you want to grow, right? That you actively want to grow the things and set the boundaries you want to set. But most people don't do that. Most people just react on their emotions and their thoughts. So they identify with them. So they're a slave to their brain. Now, how can you come out of that? A great way to do that is to practice just making it about actions. Just making it about setting the values beforehand. Setting the actions beforehand. Because if you don't know what to do, the brain will be, hey! We could do this compulsion. Look at this guy tweeted that. Let's attack him. Or this guy made a TikTok about that. Or this girl said that. Let's attack them. Did I spit a little bit? I might have spit a little bit. So instead, if you have the actions that you want to grow, like physical fitness, relaxation, your business, um, creative expression, your fun, growing relationships, then... You have it beforehand and then you know no matter what thoughts i have no matter what emotions i have i'm just going to do that action mindfully now mindfully is the important part of that because if you don't do it mindfully you're still doing compulsions in your head you could go to the gym but if you still spend time in your head all oh, these republicans or all these democrats or all these feminists or all these people then you're still doing compulsions in your head and you're still a slave to your brain and that's why you want to make it about being mindful. And mindfully means just enjoy the moment. I enjoy the nature. I'm walking right now. I'm making this video and I'm sharing something that I learned that helped me and I shared with you. So I'm helping you. So I'm giving value and I'm doing it mindfully. All right. And I'm not letting myself be pulled in by the brain saying this or that. And if the brain, because we cannot control the brain coming in and saying, hey, do this because it might come from an old pattern, but you control if you talk back or if you come back to mindfully talking to you guys. Hey guys, so I'm talking to you now. Hi, how are you? How's your day? I know you cannot answer me back right now, but I just made a point. So it's about setting values beforehand. And a lot of people don't understand that. They wait till waking up in the morning till an emotion comes up and says, we are bored. And then they're a slave to that and grab the phone to make their feelings feel better of boredom or try to entertain themselves. You know, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram are such easy compulsion makers. That doesn't mean that they're bad, they're good. They're good and bad. Depends on how you treat them, right? If you treat them with compulsions, it's not good for you. But if you treat them as tools, they're great for you. Look how I use it as a tool right now to teach you help you with what helped me right now yeah so I just wanted to make this short video for you guys to understand that um, if you guys have any questions about that um, you can see also on my TikTok account all kinds of videos on that but no matter what information you get on any YouTube TikTok book it's not important to just get that information. The important part is to practice that. And that's where people have another compulsion, which is trying to make their feelings feel better. Hi, dog. <laughs> trying to make their feelings feel better with just getting information and saying, oh, I'm so spiritual because I know these things. No, spirituality is about practice. It's about doing the things we value with any emotions and thoughts and not being a slave to the brain. 
So it's important to practice these things because only to practice these things, you know these things. I have so many people hitting me up saying, oh, my girlfriend left me. What should I do right now to make this feeling feel better? Give me a trick. Just talk to me. I just need relief. That's not a practice. That's like popping pills when you have anxiety. You're just trying to cover something up and it's just going to get worse. So a practice is to build emotional fitness over time. That's like saying, oh, I want to be a tennis professional one day. <laughs> That's dumb, okay? You want to, like in every coaching, every training, train. Train your body, you know? Train your emotional fitness. Train your mental fitness. When you, when you try to do a painting project, and every 10 minutes you're like, oh, let me check what TikTok is doing, you are training ADHD because you're training the skill of distraction, okay? Uh, if you guys want to check out how to get rid of ADHD, I also have an ADHD video on TikTok. Um, and anybody who says, no, oh, it's genetic, it's an ADHD brain, you have no idea what you're talking about. I helped our clients to get rid of ADHD. There's so many people with the emotional fitness uh, program that got rid of ADHD. Yeah, it's all about practice. It's all about doing the work. Um, with that being said, comment, I like it. And we want to get the YouTube up. It's just, YouTube is better for teaching because it's more people like you who are willing to watch longer videos. That being said,